Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, for today's video, I wanted to eat some of these um, ramen that I bought from um, Costco. This is what it looks like. It's Tokyo style, sh style shoyu soy sauce ramen with chicken. <laughs> I've never had it before, but you know, I wanted to try it. So we'll see. And then um, directions on the back says to cook in the microwave for about four minutes but me personally i really don't like to put my noodles in the microwave i'd rather pour hot water on them and just let them sit so i'll just do it that way hopefully it'll still be fine and then with that i'm also going to pair it with this the tempura shrimp this is also from costco and um i'm going to cook this in the air fryer probably for about 10 minutes you know eight to ten minutes depending on your air fryer for about 400 degrees so yeah let me pop these in the uh, in the air fryer first real fast so this is what they look like once you take them out of the package we've already um eaten these before so pop it in the air fryer Four should be good. Uh, do it for eight minutes. Okay, so let's unbox this and see what it looks like. So there's this thing and pull. It says tear open here. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can. And by the way, there's six of these um, bowls in here, so. So this is what it looks like. It's actually, see, hold it in the palm of my hand. It's actually really kind of small, so I'm gonna use, eat like two of these. I'll do two of these. That's what they look like. Just add water to the bowl. So it says, completely peel off plastic from bowl, add water to the bowl, making sure not to exceed the maximum fill line. Microwave on high for four minutes. Um, after cooking, add water to adjust flavor if desired. And since bowl and product will be hot after cooking, remove carefully. Stir wheel to mix and enjoy. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour hot water in here and let it sit, cause I don't wanna microwave it. So I'm not gonna open the I'm not gonna open this all the way since I want the water to stay hot. Okay. I'm gonna close it. Sit the scissors on top of that one. Put the spoon and the chopsticks on top of this one. Put the water away and we'll be back in four minutes to see if it worked or not. Hopefully <laughs> that will cook it. Alrighty, the shrimp is done. It's been eight minutes and it's crispy. Let's 
So you guys, these are actually um, a really good size. So I really like them. But yeah. So they look like this is what I'm going to be eating with my ramen. Okay. Let's see what these noodles look like. It's been a little bit over four minutes. Hopefully it was hot enough to um, cook the noodles, make them soft. Okay, okay, that worked. Let me open the other one. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pour these into a bigger bowl, so it'll just be one bowl. That's actually a lot of noodles. <laughs> so hopefully I'll be able to finish it. Let me see what it tastes like. So the, seems like the soy sauce was on the bottom. Let me mix it up. Oh yeah, this is a lot. Mm-hmm. Once again, always over making, over cooking food. Overdoing it, I mean. Okay, let me see what the broth tastes like without any seasoning. <clears throat> okay, you guys, so that's actually not bad. Usually when I um eat like the Japanese style of noodles, even ramen or whatever. It's usually not salty enough for me, but this one actually has a good flavor and is salty enough. So I'm just gonna put some um, chili oil in there to make it spicy because you know, I like my noodles spicy. But other than that, um, I'm not gonna need like extra soy sauce or anything. And it has a sweetness to it too. The taste does have a sweetness to it, which I like because I like sweet in my food for the most part. This is also another type of chili oil. And then I'm gonna squeeze a little bit lemon in here. Usually it's lime, but I have lemon today because I like my food to have a bit of sourness to it. And then I made these eggs just for this noodle. So sort of soft boil. Put it right here. One should be good since that's a lot of noodles. Some green onions. And seaweed. Three of these. But yep. This is what it looks like, you guys, so. Okay, you guys, so here it is, the noodles. What it looks like with the shrimp right here. And let me get a drink, then we'll get started. Stir the noodles up. I'm actually excited to eat these because you know I'm I'm a noodle lover. I love noodles, ramen, whatever. I think maybe I'm just a carb lover. So the noodles are very soft. Maybe like three minutes would have been good. You know, maybe they'd be a little bit more bouncy, but 
still good texture. I like them because they're skinny noodles. Let's try the chicken that comes with it. They're actually decent sized pieces of chicken. See, I don't know if you guys can see that. But decent size, not like, you know, small like the cup ramen ones. It's very flavorful. It's actually, this one is not bland at all. So, you won't be disappointed when you try it out. <clears throat> Let me try um, the shrimp for you guys. I've had these before and I really like them. <clears throat> Especially the size of them. There's actually a lot of meat in them, and it's not just all like dough, you know, like that mm, breading. It's really good. In case you guys um, are interested, I found these noodles in the refrigerator section, not in the dry food section. Big old piece of chicken. My kids will like these noodles because they're not spicy. Those kids don't eat spicy foods.
I really like the broth. You can taste the soy sauce. Three shrimps is uh, perfect. Four is a little bit too much <laughs> for me. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today, and um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.